Let's fucking go, you sports all day, dude. Oh! What's up, Cart Masters? Nightside back with another video. I wanted to explore more with the Sacred Chief combo wake up as my original video didn't have Evade Extended Levels 1, 2, or 3 taken into consideration. After silencing for about 4 hours straight on Twitch, I think we got the Sacred Chief combo wake up simplified to be as easy as possible. Don't forget to drop a like, comment if this helped you, or if you have a better method, and smash the subscribe button and bell icon for more Monster Hunter and variety content. Without further ado, let's get to it. Before we begin, for anyone that wants to test this out themselves, practice the steps in Training Room first, then go into specific maps that have Sleep Toads. You can find them on Frosted Islands, Flooded Forest, Sandy Plains, and on the Citadel. Get your spirit level up to red. The quickest method is to have Tempered Spirit Blade and activate it with your small barrel bombs. Sleep the monster and profit. Keep in mind of the following. If you're only trying to land the third hit, you can improve your chances of success by making sure you position in a way where you only hit the target part and you can do that by isolating a point or tip and use that as a starting point for these steps. However, if you're trying to land the second and third hits, just know that depending on the monster, it might not always be optimal for a couple of reasons. Meaning you could be aiming for the head for both the second and the third hit, but it would end up swerving, making you miss the last hit. Or heck, you might end up swiping a claw and then hitting the head, meaning that your first hit that does the most damage ended up hitting somewhere that was a lot more resistant to damage. As a result, your position's angle will also change depending on the monster, which means that consistency isn't always guaranteed. So you can still follow the steps and it'll give you something to work with, but at the end of the day, you'll just have to play around with the positioning and angling to make sure that you can get it down for XYZ monster. Also, we came to the conclusion that the forward step from Sacred Sheath is about the same distance for Evade Extender 0 and 1, and then the same again for Evade Extender 2 and 3, albeit just a little bit further than Evade Extender level 0 and 1. Let's start off with the Sacred Sheath combo, third hit, wake up. With Evade Extender off or with level 1, walk up, touch the monster, step away once, thrust away, get into Sacred Sheath facing away from the monster, step Evade forward twice, hold the direction towards the monster, and let go. Here are a couple more examples for consistency's sake. Once again, be mindful of how you're positioning and make sure you can isolate the point of contact without hitting other body parts. For Evade Extender 2 and 3, it's actually very similar. All you have to do is thrust once away from the monster, get into Sacred Sheath, step Evade forward twice, and then unleash the Sacred Sheath combo towards the monster. Literally the only difference between Evade levels 0 and 1, as opposed to Evade levels 2 and 3, is the one step. It seems that Evade Extender affects more so the lateral and backwards movement of the step evade more noticeably, while the forward distance is hardly noticeable, if at all, between the two tiers. Moving on to the two-hit Sacred Sheath combo wake up. With Evade Extender off or with level 1, touch the monster, thrust away, Sacred Sheath, step Evade forward twice, turn and release. This is actually the same exact step as the third hit with Evade Extender 2 and 3. 
Once again, depending on the monster and what their wake up animation is like, or if you end up flinching them, you may or may not land the third hit. So don't feel bad if you end up missing the third hit. Just know that it takes practice and it takes time to get the angling and the positioning right, depending on the monster. With Evade Extender level 2 or 3, touch the monster, thrust away, step once, thrust once more to get into Sacred Chief, step Evade forward once, turn, and release. This one is actually the most quote unquote complicated due to the number of steps. And that should cover everything. Obviously, if you're playing with a certain level of Evade Extender, only two out of the four methods will matter to you. But hopefully this was short enough and easy to follow. The Sacred Sheath combo wake up with the final hit should be generally pretty damn consistent, whereas the two hit wake up will vary depending on your angling and the monster's wake up animation. The two hit wake up, provided that you land both attacks on the same exact weak zone, should yield more damage overall compared to only landing the final hit. It'll just take time to get positioning and angling on pad, since different monsters have different wake up animations, but these steps should at least give you something to work with. If all else fails, the Sacred Sheath combo's third hit wake up should be generally consistent if you follow the steps. You can also catch me live on Twitch where I stream a variety of games including Apex Legends, Elden Ring, and of course, Monster Hunter. That's it for me, Cardmasters. As always, get mad, get sad, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god, can someone please clip that? That was so cool! I'm actually so cracked! Yo, let's fucking go, you sports all day, dude! <laughs>